hello traders and welcome to today's video and you're welcome to my channel today we're going to talk about how to tackle fake breakouts on chart pattern using divergence okay i'm going to focus mainly on the channels today uh, last week we talked about we focus on uh, the flag patterns today we're going to focus on what the channels all right so if you missed our uh, last week lesson on how to tackle fake breakout on chart pattern uh, specifically the flag pattern and how to trade divergence please do well to go back to my channel and watch them so that you're gonna be follow up and do not forget if this is your very first time of watching my videos on youtube do well to subscribe okay so that as you can see we have so much to talk about when it comes to divergence this strategy so do well to subscribe so that the next time i release a video on how to do this on triangles and the rest of these topics because it will, it will be presented to you as a disposal okay so without wasting much of our time let's go into the market now we have a, a channel here let's assume this is the USCHF, the one hour time frame all right so we're gonna talk discuss from here we're gonna discuss it from here now we have this as as our trend line all right we have here also we have here good all right We have here, all right. So this is our channels. I understand most of you will say, why are these ones out? Why didn't I connect this swing lows? Why didn't I connect this swing lows? Why didn't I connect this swing lows? Yeah, this swing high, this swing high, this swing low, this swing low. Fine. I connected because I want you to understand the concept. It is fake, all right. So we are focusing mainly on the main swing lows. We are focusing mainly on what the main swing lows. So these are the main swing lows where the market respected very much here. Swing lows, all right. Here and here. Why, when it comes to the swing high, we focus mainly on where the market respected. The one market respected, which is here, 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 here. So this ones you're seeing are what are fake. Now I see that this support now at the point was a resistance. So this is where you know it is. This is where you know the actual line. All right, the actual line this way it is from the past you know where the actual line is. this line is actually going to pass through so forget about these areas all right because as you proceed you understand why it is fake and why we don't concentrate on it so let's get down to business so how you can you try a taku fake breakout on channels all right channels is one of the simplest strategies you, you, any trader any beginner can think of trading at least when price gets to the the, 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 the resistance area it bounces you're expected to sell if it gets to the support area it bounces you're expected to buy but guys price getting to the uh, support and resistance level is not enough reason for any trader to risk his or her money in the market you have to stick to my to, to my teachings so that you understand better because very soon we're going to be talking on uh, talking on how to trade channels how to perfectly trade channels using this strategy divergence so i understand they have thought of when price bounce on resistance you sell when price bounce on support you buy after establishing two swing lows and two swing highs but this is not enough reason for you to risk your money in the market so you need more confirmation to why you should buy that market or to why you should sell that market and that's the most reason why you should stick to my channel subscribe to my channel so that we're going to talk about we'll get to this topic this particular topic We'll talk about it and you understand better what you should do once price gets to the support or resistance levels let's assume price price got here now let's assume price got to this support level now all right we saw that it broke so ordinarily you are taught that you should sell because those of us majority of us trading the uh, price action we don't do with indicators oscillators like this now let's assume there's no oscillator on this chart and the price happened to be at this point happened to be at this point what are you going to do guys seeing this good breakout this huge breakout from this channel definitely going to sell isn't it definitely going to sell after market establishing swing high, low swing high swing low again breaking this level you definitely going to sell this market so but after you see what happened price went all the way back up so it is not enough reason for any trader to risk his or her money price breaking or bouncing on levels you need more confirmations to why you should do that okay so subscribe to this video so that when we talk when we get to that particular topic i will teach you guys 
more confirmation more things to add to your confirmation to, to, your, to your style of trading all right for higher percentage of return now let's get back to business i've always said you need an oscillator in your chart to tackle fake it, fake fakeness in the market in when it comes to you tackling fakeness in the market you really need oscillators so that's why we need them the second reason why we need them is because we, we want to compare likes to likes likes for likes what was going on in the market i said that in my previous video as traders who trade divergence as a strategy we are not we are not, we are not supposed to focus or follow the direction of the chart because the chart is highly manipulated but it can the oscillators can be manipulated okay and what people manipulating these charts the big banks the market makers they can they manipulate the chart a lot so if you follow them you're gonna easily be manipulated that's why they say 90 70 percent should have lose in the market because they easily fall into their traps like or is me because everybody will buy this will sell this trade at this level everybody who will sell this trade out here at this level guys everybody trading channel will sell this trade at this level but what happened after you sold that trade and everybody will buy this trade at this level guys everybody will buy this trade at this level but after doing all those things what happened market went back against you all right market went back against you so you don't have to trade the way every other person trades majority don't always guide the vote when it comes to the forest market they don't have to follow what 90 90 percent traders are doing because you're definitely gonna lose like them so if you whatever you're trading if you're trading channels and you want to tackle fakeness in the market please insert on us later because it is it, it, it will help you a lot to to capture where the fakeness comes from now let me give you an example we had price doing this giving us low all right bounced on this level now this is a, this, this this was a resistance level at the point it's not turning to support all right now bounce on that support level went or bounced there went down again have you and did that did when did what went up a little but could not get here now see what you have what see what happened it went down and bounced and broke that particular level this level with this candle all right it broke with this candle now ordinarily we were supposed to do what to sell we we're supposed to sell this trade from this point now we'll sell this trade from this point but what happened the market went all the way against what against them you should understand what I will teach you right now because it will help you to know that this thing that happened there that occurred here was fake and how you should have exempted yourself. Okay, now let's assume let's see the market was here, guys. After the market broke this level, I said something in my previous video. Once you witness a breakout, now you and I will expect this market, we are, we are expecting to buy this market at this level, isn't that? Yeah, we are expecting to buy this market at this level. Or, you are supposed to take action on whatever happens here, either to sell or buy. To sell once price breaks, to buy once price reject. You see that? But now that you saw that the price broke this level, so majority of today would have taken this trade as what a sell. But understand that each time you're waiting for a breakout to occur like this, guys. Each time you're waiting for a breakout to occur like this, always do well to go down and check also what your oscillator is doing. Do you understand me? Also go down to check what the oscillator is doing. And now you should know something. If they are, if it's doing exactly the same thing in what the market is doing, then you find if it's doing something different from what the market is doing, guys, that is the only place you know that it is fake. At that point, you understand that it is what it is fake. Now I will show you why it is fake here. You said a price gave us push down gave us a low gave us high this time another what another low all right that broke the previous low he said that the market gave us what lower lows at this point lower lows all right market gave us what lower lows but what happened on this later it was later was rising giving us what higher lows that on the, that's i want you to understand what divergence is because this is this this concept is called divergence in the financial market when price is doing something else from what the oscillator is doing it's called divergence and that's where that's the only way 
you know sin if the breaker is sin is a fake one or it is a real one you won't know if you don't have an oscillator to compare what the market is doing so whatever strategy you're trading in as far as it happens to do with breakout and you want to tackle fakeness in the market you must have your oscillator because they tell you supposed thing that's supposed to happen in the market it is designed to predict what the market is supposed to do but at the point in time the market maker steps in and they manipulate the market doing what is not supposed to be done just to fake people to the opposite direction for them to go to the real direction now see what happened the market gave us lower lows but oscillator was giving us what higher high higher lows at that point you understand that it is what it is fake it's very simple once the oscillator is doing something different from what the chart is doing then know that that bad particular breakout is a fake breakout once the oscillator is doing something different from what the chart is doing understand that that particular breakout you're seeing on the chart is a fake one it's for people to take in their money at the end of the day they will lose it now if you took this trade at the sell see what happened the market went all the way up and took you out do you understand me okay see another example guys market gave us what lower lows here and also gave us what another lower low here market went down here threatened to do what to go up and did what went down again huh some of you would say this is not a low on the watch this I we seen that the market this is a low because the market went up and went and dropped so this is a low this particular place is a low this particular place is what a low market went up and dropped so that particular place is what a low all right so market gave us a, a, a low here also lower low but what happened on the chart or on the slater or slater at that point gave us what higher low let's understand that this particular one is also fake because what oscillator did not record the same thing as what the chart is doing this is one of the ways to understand if a particular breakout is fake or real the moment oscillator is not doing something that the chart is doing then understand that it is what it is fake now we witness another breakout here at this point we witness another breakout here Abby? now the same scenario we went down to compare market giving us what lower highs but what was oscillator giving us likes for likes higher highs so have you seen that it is fake now this week you're seeing at a point the market was bullish trading up full after this powerful engulfing candle this one came up on top of this level going up just after so many people have entered this market as a buy they now rejected them at this level and dropped Right, they now rejected them at this level and did what and dropped. So this breakout, my friend, is fake. And why is it fake? Because oscillator failed to record the same thing as what the chart is recording. How do you know particular breakout is fake? The moment oscillator is doing something different from what the chart is doing. And why do you need oscillator in your trading, in your strategy? because that is the only thing the market makers cannot manipulate they can manipulate this chart but the, the oscillators they cannot manipulate they will predict what is supposed to happen in the market because what they are generally designed to to follow prices up and down to do exactly what price is doing but to predict it predict that particular move before it happens in the market that is oscillator for you but the moment the chart is doing something else from what the oscillator is doing guys that is where the fakeness comes in and it's called divergence this should this should this should link it to my first video how to trade divergence if you don't if you don't have the video if you've not watched it before watch from the first video second video so that you, you get you understand better why what we are saying in this particular video and also do it to subscribe so that the next time i release more videos it will be given to you or sent to you at the disposal you get it easily now this is one of the ways you know that a breakout is what is fake when well, moment price does something different for what the oscillator is what it's doing now the second way to understand if a breakout is fake is what now price gave us a low here 
pay high now give us another load that broke this level okay go down to your oscillator this is the second method now go down to your oscillator where is the oscillator presently at the at the, at the moment where is the oscillator at the moment at this moment that this price broke this this particular level where is the oscillator have you seen the oscillator was where at the oversold zone huh? oscillator was where at the oversold word zone oscillator was at the oversold zone guys i seen that and what were you taught in your in your various classrooms that you should not buy you should not sell when the market is where at the oversold level is that yes and you should not buy when the market is where at the overbought level so once this market breaks this level go down to your oscillator check where the where the oscillator is at that moment if it's at the oversold zone for a sell trade then understand that that particular breakout is what is fake because in no distant time this oscillator will go back will rise back and leave this zone to the upside do you understand guys the first thing i said was compare likes to likes if market is giving you the chart is giving you lower low and oscillator is giving you higher low is giving you something different from what the chart is giving you then it is fake now the second one i'm talking about right now is once the price breaks a particular level step down to your oscillator and check where the price is at that moment for a sell trade for a trade you're aiming to sell uh, uh, like this one that uh, that record here check here where is oscillator is it somewhere here is it up if it's at the oversold zone i know that it is fake because at the no distant time the, os the oscillator will come back rising and that rising they are leaving this zone for you this zone this support zone on the chart for you so that is one of the ways to know if a particular breakout is what fake as a matter of fact stay away from fast moving candles in the market except you're already on that trade and it's going in your direction all right stay away from what fast moving candle if you're waiting to take a trade and you see a sudden move in the market stay away from it because it is fake they want to use that to trigger traders hearts the minds the minds of traders so that they will rush in at the end of the day they will be abandoned in a particular zone like what happened here guys see this candle bearish this candle bearish now they know that they are approaching this this level this support level and they're bringing up this kind of candle why are they bringing up this kind of powerful candles because they want you to think wow the, the sellers are in control they're breaking this level with this kind of move let me sell let me sell and at the end of the day what happened they went back so stay away from what fast moving candles momentum candles in the market except you're already on that trade and it's going your direction i hope i'm making myself clear guys now for a buy trade for a buy trade see what happened here this one is different a little bit different why is it different because price was not even had not gone to the resistance level yet but what happened to the oscillator? The oscillator was already there at the over, overboard area. So at that point, there was do you understand that there's something missing here. There's something missing. If you took this trade as a sell, you would have lost this money because majority of you would have just kept the stop loss above here a little bit. So wait for price to come to, to respect this particular level. Now see what see what I would do let's do something like this let's assume the market is still where it's still here the market is still here okay now slater is already at this zone but the market is here to do what to get to this what to this level we are expecting the price to hit to come and respect this level because this is a real life level we had the first hit here the second hit now it is a real level so we are expecting price to come and hit on this level again if at all it is valid for sell but what happened here the price was still here and it was not it has not approached the resistance level but what happened to the oscillator oscillator was already where at the overbought area so there's something happening there they've already also manipulated that chart to make people to go into early entry 
that make people to do what to go into what early entry by stopping here. Now, if you took this level, see what happened later on. Market came back and respected what this level. This level I was telling you about. So always wait for the perfect time to take your trade. You say you want to trade channels, fine. Wait for price to bounce on that level. And once you finish bouncing on that level, go back to your selector, go down to your selector. Is it doing the same thing with what the chart is doing? If yes, then you should take your trade. If it's doing something contrary to what the selector is doing, it is fake. Secondly, once price bounces were on the support zone or, or the or, or resistance zone, check your oscillator. Where is it at that moment? Okay, where is it at that moment? The moment the price broke this level, where is the oscillator at that moment? Is it at the is it anywhere near this over or, 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 the so zone or is it anywhere near the overbought zone? But if it's a it is is it's, it's inside this zone already guys avoid it because in no distant time the market will rise totally stay away from fast moving candles they are meant to trap traders except you are already where on that trade and it is going in your favor the fast candles are going in your favor then but if it's against you or you're waiting to take trade and you're seeing fast candles toward the direction avoid it they are fake so this is how to tackle what fake breakouts in the market. Very soon, I'll teach you how to trade channels perfect, perfectly. Not 100% perfect, guys. No, no strategy can do that. But at least 80 to 90% perfect way to trade channels. I'm going to reveal it to you. But the only thing you can do for me right now is to subscribe to this video. Okay, so that when I release a particular a video on that particular topic or more topics on Forex, it will be given to you at the disposal. So let's do a very quick recap. How do you know a particular breakout is fake? The moment oscillator is doing something different from what what the chart is doing. All right. Secondly, after a particular breakout, go down to your oscillator. Where is the oscillator at that moment? If the breakout occurred at the, uh, at the support level, go down to your oscillator. Where is the oscillator at that moment? Is it inside of a sold zone? If the answer is yes, then stay away from that trade. Don't take it because in no distant time, the market will do, the oscillator will do what rise. And that oscillator rising is the market rising. If the market broke a particular level, a particular resistance level, as if it wants to buy, what do you do? Go to the oscillator. Where is the oscillator at that point? Overboard level. If your answer is yes, then stay away from that breakout. Don't chase that trade. Allow it to go. Because it is what fake. Because in no distance time, this oscillator we will leave this zone until it to fall. And that falling is a price falling. Totally, guys, stay away from what fast moving candles. When you see price breaking a particular level with powerful candles like that, ask yourself some few questions. Go for further confirmation before taking a trade okay so so guys i i, I hope I, I i was able to reveal something meaningful to you in today's video like i said i'm going to release so many topics concerning this strategy all right you can, as you can see we not even started we just talked on three we have so many so the only way you can get all these videos is by is by you subscribing right so do well to subscribe pause this video this moment and subscribe to my channel right away so that you get my next video i'm going to be posting videos every week so after i say that no guys watch this video go back to your chat back test them understand what, whatever thing i've explained here go back to your chat do your back testing yourself and see what i've, I've told you about in today's video okay don't just go jump in and start trading it go back to your chart on your own back test them if it works for you go add it to your strategy to your way to the way you trade all right but i believe it's strong i strongly believe it's going to work for you these are things that 90 percent traders don't consider they say they are price action traders yes no doubt 
But how do you tackle fakeness in the market when your chat is like this? There's no device that is meant to can use as confirmation. Hmm? And that's why they get every day by day they keep recording 97% traders as failures in the market because they want to do what every other person is doing and it doesn't work that way so for the very first time as a press action trader even they don't love indicators you have to love one do something different from the crowd insert an oscillator just one use it to compare why are you starting an oscillator because you want to just use it and compare what's happening in the market they are they are designed to predict what's supposed to happen in the market to follow price up and down but why is some why is it that sometimes the market is doing something else or slater doing something else you should know that the people moving the market have stepped in and they want to make money the only way they can make money is by giving fake news so that you follow that direction of the faking and then at the end of the day they will come back hitting your stop losses taking away your money so do something different from what every other trader is doing if you really want to stand out from the, the record you are keeping at the, so far so whatever strategy you're trading as a price as a trader also have an oscillator present lay your chart just for confirmation so thank you very much guys for watching my video i believe i was able to convey something meaningful to you and next by this time next week i'll be releasing another video on another topic okay so if you love my video like this video subscribe to it so that we get more and more of my next videos can see so many things to talk about so many after following me after discussing everything with you after teaching you all these things there should be no reason for you to be struggling in the financial market again because well, the only things are the things i'm teaching you are things that are really really very different from the way every other person does thank you very much once again for watching my video and i will see you on my next video